So, I've got a really stupid story. And I mean really stupid. Like, I was being a full-blown moron. I don't know how I was being so dumb. Right? Where am I going? Oh. Great. I'm not going anywhere. Where? What? Gotta win three rounds in a row in this crazy-ass arena? Oh. Right. Right. How did I get there again? How, uh, it's down here, right? Um, yeah, see, it's the party barge. So, anyways, if I don't talk about how stupid I was, then it's just gonna bounce around in my head, and, well, I'll just never hear the end of it from myself. And my stomach will clench, and I won't feel right working out, and I won't be able to eat. And tonight I'm eating pasta, so I, I definitely want to be hungry for that. I'm actually already starting to feel hungry, so... Yeah. The, the, this is the, the magnitude of which this stupid thing was. It's like, just enough that I am still thinking about it, but not enough that I'm still not hungry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it was... jeez. Uh, it was a really stupid thing, so... Um, you know how you can charge back charges on a credit card, or on a card, you know? Um, so, I was getting scammed, and I thought it would be really funny to make them think that they got me, right? And then just charge back the card, right? Um, I don't know why I thought that, because, uh, apparently that's not how some payments were. <laughs> So, moral of the story, uh, Zell doesn't do chargebacks. If you use Zell, don't use it on anything that you might want back, because, like, I want to say one of the payments didn't even go through, and it's still, it's just out, out into the ethos, you know. It is gone in the ether. I am down however much, you know. So, you know, not a significant amount of money, you know, but it's, I, I, I don't like losing money, and I was... I, I sit I sat there I was like this guy thinks he's got me and then at the end of it I was like crap he got me <laughs> uh. anyways let's see if I remember how to play this game ginger Chapman they have no soul I don't care and he has a knife not cool how do I disarm people again boink yeah Hey, not cool, man. Ow. Very not cool. Like, excessively not cool. Eh. Hey, not... Extremely not cool, dude. How come he gets a knife and I don't? Honestly. If only I had some kind of... Dude, he hit me in the nuts. Not cool. I'm bringing the bat out, dude. You're not just going to get away with hitting me with a knife over and over and over again. Hey, hey. Dude, this guy's actually kicking my ass. Not cool. There we go. And we just boink. There, finally. Oof. Only two more rounds to go. And I have like a third of my health originally. Yeesh. So, yeah. Never tempt fate and uh, never think that you're smart. Because I thought I was smart. Now I know I'm dumb. You know? And what's, what's, the, what's the quote? Um, oh, great. Of course. A doctor. Sheesh. Dr. Kevorkian. Or whatever the guy's name is. No time limit, no rules. I am downing whatever the heck I can. Whatever I have. How much you want to bet I don't have one? He has guns? Or are those claws? Does he just have... Okay, I think they're claws, actually. Why do I not have anything? I have takoyaki. I do have 16-piece takoyaki. Great. That's, that's great. Okay. Well... It does give me a bit of health back. Not happening, pal. 
This guy has more health than the last guy. I guess he really is a practitioner. Uh, he is a professional. Kirihito. Haha, stupid idiot. I'm just gonna do it again. I'm gonna keep doing the same thing over and over again. And it's gonna work. Because why wouldn't it? Nope. I mean, I kinda do the same thing over and over again anyways when I'm... when I'm playing as Goro. So, you know, this actually does work out pretty well for me. Not if I have anything to say about it, pal. And I do. Hey, pal, not cool. Nope. Alright, I think this will do it. Or not. Hey, pal, no, 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 no. Ha! Oh! There we go. Well, a bit of an anticlimactic ending, I know. Anticlimactic? Climactic? Yeah. Non-climactic. Climax. I like achieving climax, so, you know. <sighs> Ugh. Yeah. Anyways. I don't think anybody saw this coming. I have a bat. I have a baseball bat. Oh? Are they rigging the fight? The legend himself? Kiryu Kazuma. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's Mike Tyson. This is Punch-Out. I didn't know I was playing Punch-Out. Dead puncher. Sheesh. This doesn't look good for me, man. Good thing I have a baseball bat. Otherwise, I would almost feel bad for this guy that he would get punched and lose. Is he head and shoulders taller than me? Hold on. Hold on. Is this guy, like, significantly taller than I am? I think he's significantly taller than I am. This guy's a giant, dude. What are you, the, um... Dead Puncher. Okay, well, I, I get that you're the Dead Puncher. I was about to say, what are you, Mr. Shakedown? Because Mr. Shakedown is head and shoulders taller than everybody in this godforsaken country anyways. Nice try, pal. Ah, Stupid moron idiot. Take that. I know I say that. I know I've also already proven that I am the stupid moron idiot. Ow. Ha! <laughs> oh no. Not my... Ha! <laughs> God, that, that does a really good job of, of um, just completely getting rid of blocks. I, I do like that I can just kind of decimate blocks like that. Oh! I can combo into it, actually. That's great. Dude, I did there are so many things about this game that I just I guess didn't know. Oh boy. Ow, okay, that was a stupid idea on my part. Nope. Ha. Ha. Taste my steel, fella. You know what I keep forgetting to do? Okay, well never mind. Nope. I was I was blocking. Ah, yeah, I was blocking, dude. I also don't know what happened there. Ow. Nope, not happening, pal. Ah. Ow. That that hurt a lot. Well, you know what? I might even have to go into breaker style just for funsies. Just to teach this guy who's boss. Oh, wait. Here we go. Never mind. I think I'll be able to teach him who's boss and slugger. Oh, well. That's gotta be really awkward for him. That's gotta be really awkward for me. That's really awkward for me. Hold on. Also, how do I lock onto opponents again? Like, I completely forgot how to do that. I know it was a thing, but I completely forgot how to do it. Here we go. Boink. Ow. Dude, not cool, man. You know what? I'm gonna hit you in the head with a baseball bat. Ow. That went through a block. Sheesh. You know what? Why am I not just outranging this guy? 
Like that. There we go. I should have just been running away the whole time. My god, I just, I feel so stupid right now. <laughs> uh, a new legend! What am I, the second guy to get to three? Sheesh. Good thing I bought the Takoyaki. Takoyaki to the freaking rescue, dude. Oh my. Ah, uh, I can't wait to make an old style punch out version of Goro Majima. Somehow, my artistic endeavors center entirely on Goro and never on Kiryu. I have drawn one Kiryu, and I've done more Goro. Or I guess Majima, whatever. It'll it just it just happens that way. It just kind of turned out that way. You know. Not sure you could afford me, pal. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, pull through, my friend. Oh, good. We're gonna find out where the uh, where um, the guy we're looking for is. Nishitani. Right, Nishitani. That's who I was looking for. What are we getting on another boat? <laughs> Yep. That it does. Hmm. Little dirt can hide away the real ugly truths. Oh, can it now? I'm gonna dip some dirt on your face then. Haha, <laughs> real ugly truth right there. T. Oof. Wow, that sounds terrible. What kind of sick hacker would do that? Mm. Oh, don't tell me it was it was his daughter or something. Okay, never mind. Ooh, ooh. Ah, good. <laughs> uh, that's that's a shame. Truly. Street punk minor. No court, no hard time. He's just out of it. Now that's truly not cool. That's no good. You know. Imagine uh, being nine years old and getting away with bloody murder. I don't know how it actually works in the United States. I know that they had that, now that you're ten, you know. It's like, it was really cool being, growing up in America, where it's like, you thought, like, you know, once you turn 10, Professor Oak gives you a Pokédex and a bunch of Pokéballs, and you get to set off on some animal catching adventure, and instead they tell you you can be arrested and charged with crimes. I'm like, well, there, there goes animal fighting, then. You're telling me I should have caught and fought Pokémon before being 10? Uh, whatever. It's a real darn shame, truly. I should have thought about that way sooner. Whatever. I guess I'll just have to, you know, um, hide it really well. Eh. <laughs> uh. Ah? So the girl was your... Uh. I knew it! It was... It was this guy's daughter. That's a darn shame, truly. That is a darn shame. Anyways, I think we've probably done enough. We beat up three guys. That's like three more than some episodes. So, you know, bringing you down to the clink. You all set? Not yet, my friend. We're going to go down to the clink on the next episode of Yakuza 0. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm going to bring you down to the clink. That's right. I'll bring you down to the clink. <laughs> I really got to get better at these. <laughs> Bye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.